Yeah, oh, 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 say something. You guys are regretting coming up with this format now, I'm imagining. You're like, this is not, this is not the art we hoped would happen here. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> What's up? My name is JC Stewart and today I am doing the auto-tune interview so make sure you describe to check it out on Diffus. First of all, would you give me your two favorite ad-libs? My two favorite ad-libs? Uh, yeah! <laughs> Some of that. Is there a song you can't get out of your head right now? Yes, there is and it's... I love it when you do it like that. You feel me closer. Give me the shivers. It's, I didn't want to like that song. And I don't even know if I do like it. I'm just saying, I live it, I breathe it, I sleep it. It's everywhere. You recently released the single Don't Say You Love Me. Yeah. And of course, we would like to hear it on autotune. <laughs> okay, it goes. Don't say you love me. Just to stop me from leaving. Just cause you think that I need it. You just gotta let me go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's horrible. Great. Oh no. What is your favorite love song? Oh, favorite love song. I mean, it's a depressing love song. Have you heard the song, I Can't Make You Love Me? By Bonnie Ray. It goes, I can't make you love me if you don't. You can't make your heart feel something it won't. <laughs> is there a story behind the song? I think it's a story about, I can't remember, it was the person who wrote it, it was the first song they'd ever written, and it's one of the best songs of all time, and it's just a, a song about somebody who's really in love with another person, but they don't love them back, which is a super common thing, but it's the most heartbreaking, beautiful, just unbelievable thing I've ever heard. So it's also your breakup song? It's my breakup song okay. and my love song, yeah, for sure. Your Instagram bio says you're a professional sad boy. Mm -hmm. Does that also mean you mostly listen to sad music? No, it doesn't actually. I don't listen to loads of sad music. I try and listen to the opposite so I can be less sad all the time. Um, I love listening to really cheesy country music at the minute. I don't know why. Oh, do, you want a, do you want an example? Of course. Fancy like apple green on a date night. Get some barbecue steak with the Oreo shake and the whipped cream on the top. It's an awful song, but I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And your favorite party song? That's a tough one. I think uh, it's gonna have to be uh, Freak Out. Da -da 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 -dun, don't let freak say she to freak out. Dun, da -da 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 -dun, dun, dun, dun. That's Great. a pretty good one. <laughs> That's cool. Um, you've been on tour with Snow Patrol two years ago. Yeah. And what was that like? It was amazing. I got to play in arenas. I like as a kid all over Europe. And I was just also then fanboying out the whole time because Snow Patrol are from Northern Ireland like me. And they are gods where I'm from. They're like walking gods. So it was pretty cool. It was really special. And what's your favorite song? Favorite song by Snow Patrol. I think it's going to be... Tell me that you'll open your eyes. Oh, that was, that was yeah. painful to listen <laughs> to. That one. <laughs> and yeah, speaking of Irish music, um, yeah. is there a traditional Irish song you like? There is. Um, there's one that my mom used to sing to me as a kid. And it goes, I tell me, mom, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They stole my hair, it's on my comb, but that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is the belle of Belfast City. In the voice of one, two, three, please, will you tell me who is she? <laughs> cool. That's the best one. <laughs> What was the first concert you've ever been to? This is not, this is not a cool thing. Oh, this I want to know. This is really bad. My mom took me. My first two were really bad, actually. The first one was Ronan Keating. Oh. The second one was X Factor Live. Now I want to hear <laughs> a Ronan Keating song. I don't even know any Ronan Keating songs. I'm trying to think. What's a good Ronan? Do you know any Ronan Keating songs? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me whenever I fall. You say it best, you say it best, when you say nothing at all. Cool. <laughs> He's got an interesting voice, this Roman. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any other guilty pleasures when it comes to music? Most of my music taste is guilty pleasures, I would say. Um, I mean, My Chemical Romance isn't a guilty pleasure, but I've, I've been listening to a lot of that recently. Uh, Welcome to the Black Parade, Teenagers, just massive hits. Well, my biggest guilty pleasure, I think... Have you ever heard of Hoedown Throwdown from the Hannah Montana of movie? Of course. Yeah, it's just, it bangs. And honestly, if I was in any nightclub and they threw that on, I'm in. 
Can I, you do the dance as well? I can't do the dance. I can. You can do the dance. If I yes. sing it, will you do the dance? Yes, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sing it for me. You know, I sing, pop it, lock it, poke it, dot it, country fight it, hip up it, with your arms to the sky, move side to side, jump to the left, kick it, slide, zigzag, cross the floor, shuffle in diagonal when the arm hits hands on your hips. Something like that. You, you guys are regretting coming up with this format now, I'm imagining. You're like, this is not this is not the art we hoped would happen here. <laughs> this is not. Ed, tell me, what's the most annoying question on interviews? Either how did you get into music or what is that song about? Then tell the me, how did you get into music? How did I get into music? Uh, I was 15. I went to a songwriting camp and literally my mom made me go and they taught us how to write songs. And I fell in love with it in one day and just did it ever since. And I don't know what happened. It was just a weird day. Yeah. Can you remember your favorite song when you were a child? I can. It was two songs, actually. It was I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles, which is the first song I remember listening to. And the first song I was obsessed with as a kid, as like a teenage, young teenager, was The Man Who Can't Be Moved by the script. I remember thinking that was a big one. I want to hear the script. Because if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me, And your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I could be. Thinking maybe you'll come back here to the place that we meet. And you'll see me waiting for you on the corner of the street. That one goes out to Danny. <laughs> How has Cindy Lauper influenced you? Cindy Lauper has given me everything I really have in this world at this point. Um, I play Girls Just Wanna Have Fun now at my live shows, just me and a guitar. It doesn't, I mean, it's. It's maybe sad, but that song, song goes off more than any song I will ever play or write or anything. It is just amazing to watch it. Yeah. Would you sing it fast? I would sing it, yeah. <laughs> I was feeling you might ask that. And it goes, uh, I come home in the morning light. My mother says, what, you gonna live your life right? Oh, mother dear, we're not the fortunate ones. Cause girls, they want to have fun. Oh, girls just want to have fun. That was cool on auto -tune, I, I think, think I find the key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we want to hear I Need You To Hate Me on auto -tune. Okay, so it goes. I need you to hate me, baby, in the worst way, I need you to hate me, say it to my face, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 say something. Yeah, oh, 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 oh say something. I mean, that sounds better than the original to me. That's good. <laughs> Thank you for having me, guys. That's great. We got, we got, there's a lot of different clips you could use on any sort of platform there that will ruin me, and I, I'm, I'm excited about that. That's good. <laughs>